Okay, we pulled a, a field in here. Um, here's the original surface here. Um, go up here, hit our editor settings. You can see our original surface, original contour. So, uh, as we can see here, that by contour lines, we just got little holes out here all over. They're not draining out. Uh, for the more majority part, the field drains fine, except for through these bottom areas here, does not drain. Um, you can see by our flow pads, it just comes and sits here. So um, I've taken and calculated this on a tenth and a half. Uh, so if we go to our original, our proposed surface, see we're basically building grade into this field. Uh, building grade into these lows and, and filtering it out here. So we got at least a tenth and a half grade in these lows. Um, look at our cut fill. You can see that we're, we're skimming dirt across the whole field to fill these lows in um, here. And we go and look at our flow pass, kind of trying to verify where the water's coming from, where it's going. We slide this back. Our, our Main, we can see water works its way down here, works its way out and through that gap. Same way with here, kind of splits and, and comes down here, works its way out. This water is actually working its way off of this edge, uh, and it should have fall to continue working that direction. Um, so, again, we've got it, it kind of splits on here in the ridge. We can see our flow pass stop. This water is kind of going to the south. This water is coming through here, going to the south. We always need to ensure that we got drainage going that direction. Um, this water comes and works its way through here and out. And, and same way with this water here, it's working its way out this direction. Um, so it looks like that we have 3,200 yards of feel. Uh, really, you know, the only place on this field that, that has drainage issues is these lows, so filling in this dirt. So if we don't want to skim across the whole field and pick up dirt, particularly on this south side, if we've still got sod here, um, well, we can take in, take it off of these ridges here. Just pull them down, just pull the dirt off of these little knobs and fill it in here until we get it filled up to these edges here. Uh, once we get those lows filled up, they should kind of mesh up with the edges and, and that water should flow out like it should there. Um, I always like to look at it in 3D, make sure that I, I'm not missing anything. Um, so proposed surface, proposed contours, and then we exaggerate it as much as we can. Um, and so we can see that water flows down that direction. This water is flowing through here. We can turn our th flow paths on 3D too. And uh, see that we kind of got a ridge there. Water flows down through here. And it's all going to flow out through that little gap there. Uh, we can also see that's a big old mound. I know that we got it exaggerated a lot, but it is a little hill. We can pull that down to the level of this and it help us out a lot. Um, so yeah, we can gather our dirt off of that mound and definitely make this a lot more productive. One more tool that's uh, very useful in analyzing, particularly drainage projects, is the cut fill analysis. So uh, you can see that you know, it's just showing all this red is cut, the blue is fill. Well, that's true, but let's, I want to see all of my fill that is more than two tenths, which is uh, a little over about two and a half inches. Um, so now all of this blue is two and a half inches or more of fill. So I'll say, okay, show me what's more than half a foot of fill. Well, we only got a few little spots out here that show half a foot of fill. In fact, it'll tell you how much area. 
fill over half a foot it's only 0.65 of an acre um, so we can do the same thing with cut say okay show me everything that has two tenths of cut on it uh, well nothing does it's trying to uh, get the whole it's trying to skim dirt off the whole field to fill these lows in so nothing has more than two tenths of cut so we're not disturbing much topsoil uh, if we get a one tenth of cut um, see we've got little areas there that have one tenth of cut but we're not disturbing much topsoil to fill this in particularly if we're cutting off of this knob here it's just going to be this area that we're going to disturb um, so that's it